Coaches UK correspondent. Welcome to Europe's Toughest Mudder. Woo! Okay, so it's half past 11 here at Beaver Castle, Europe's toughest mudder. How many laps of that five mile course can they do in eight hours? We're about to find out. How many tough mudders have you run before? Uh, 12 events. And how are you feeling? A little nervous. Excited? Yeah, excited. Nervous? Jolly elated. Confused? Uh... uh exactly. Sometimes there are no words. Team Short Shorts! Standing with people who are equal to you. This guy's come all the way from the States with a clipboard just to tell people some badass rules. Those of you who don't know... It's like a muddy rave out here. I'm off my head on excitement. We're about to start Europe's toughest mudder. We've got people here from the US, from Singapore, from Poland, from Germany, from France, from Ireland. Damn it, some people are even from Yorkshire and the Isle of Man. Here they are evolving out of the water like like fish learning to walk. How are you, my friend? Good. Wet. Pretty good, actually, all things considered. Yeah. Feeling top of the world, you know. I've nearly been on 24 hours already, but you keep going. He's, he's off his face on mud. This is Augustus Glute, one of our favourite obstacles. It's cold, it's chilly, and it looks like a futuristic mode of travel. Absolutely buzzing. It's awesome, man, yeah. Buzzing. How was it? Oh, nice and refreshing. Keeps you awake one o'clock in the morning, you know? Keeps you going. So we've got all the runners out there on the course, but it's not just about them. Hi, mate, they're a pit stop, and we've got the pit crew. That's basically their friends and family who are basically hanging out on deck chairs uh, until the runners arrive, and then they stuff their face with nutrition, encouragement. Who are you here supporting? Uh, Chris, my dad. Chris, and he's done over 25 Tough yeah. Mudders. This is like 25th now. So we've had about 10 mudders complete the first lap here at Europe's Toughest Mudder with the quickest coming in about 35 minutes, which is an incredible time. So how are you just done in Arctic Enema and you're feeling like you need a kebab van? <laughs> yes, not close enough to the kebabs right now. So we're three hours into Tough Mudder and the lead dude is 20 miles and the lead lady has done 16. That is some impressive athleticism. This is one of the most difficult obstacles on the course, Kong. It's only got about a 10% completion rate and if you don't finish it, you've got to carry a big sack around a field. Like these lads over there. Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah, you're going all right. It's brutal, man. It's brutal. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's good, yeah. So we're back in the pit stop. We're checking in with Dan, Chris's son. How's he doing out there? Yeah, yeah, he's doing really well. Um, first lap, he was really hot. Um, but now he's cracking on with it, lap three now, um, doing really well. But you said it was quite easy. Oh yeah, piece of piss, yeah. Dawn has finally broken, but it is absolutely wetting it down. What's going on? It's good, we're done now. How many laps did he do? Donnie's on the six. Only done six? Six. It, it was gruesome, like, at times out there, mate. It was cold, it, and the cold really got to me this time. We hit our target. Got our 25, can't complain. Got your 25, well done. I feel a static, actually. Oh, that shock. I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm tired, but I'm happy. Good, you seem very happy. You did a lovely little jump over there at the finish. Amazing to actually finish, but at the same time, I would advise anybody to come out here and do it. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, you don't get a smile like that for doing nothing, do you? Oh, my soul feels fantastic, honestly. This is why people should do this. Could describe it, how would you describe it? Oh, it's a bit like giving birth. Wicked. It is a beautiful morning now in the UK and the end of Europe's first toughest mudder. I am so tired, it's been so emotional. We're all off to the pub. Goodbye. <laughs>